so everybody feels like they know it and they look the way he does it it looks like it's easy and it makes other people want to try and make it inspires people <laughs> Today I'm very excited because I will be speaking with someone who I know for the last year and a half, maybe two, and whom I've been following for quite some time. What he impressed me with is that he's been uh, growing his calligraphy skills quite fast and he's bringing some great results. We'll be talking about his journey, how and when did he started with calligraphy, and what are, what are his secrets behind the success he is achieving in the last year. This is one of our latest additions to the Calligraphy Masters team, Edgar Villa, aka Made by Edgar. So what's up mate? Can you tell me like a bit about you, some of your background, like how old are you, where are you from and uh, how and when did you get interested in, in letters and calligraphy in general? Yeah, um, uh, my name is Edgar. A lot of people, a few people may know me by uh, Made by Edgar on Instagram, uh, maybe YouTube, and uh, a few people from Reddit may know me by that name, but I'm 29 years old. I'm Mexican. I grew up in Mexico, came over here when I was like five years old, um, had a I'd say we live lower to middle class around here, but um, I grew up in Jersey City my whole life. I literally moved from, uh, I, I lived in a house. Each house I lived in was literally like two houses away. So I lived here, we moved here, and then we moved here. So I never left this area. Um, when it comes to like calligraphy, I started this like two years ago and it was just something random. I didn't really know about calligraphy at all. So when I started, it was literally like the the same month that I found out about calligraphy was the same month I started calligraphy. Um, I found this guy on YouTube. His name is Uvalis or Uvalis. You ever heard of him, bro, or no? Yeah, I, I don't know what it was about his work, but I don't even know how I found him, matter of fact. I don't know what happened that I stumbled upon his work, and when I saw it, I was like, okay, this, I don't know what it is, but this, I want to try this. And at the time, I was broke. Like, I didn't have no money. I, I'm the type of kid that, growing up, I made, like, dumb decisions, so... I could never keep a job. I didn't go to school. I was just, I was just bad, bro. Like I didn't have no sense of direction. I was, I was lost. So I saw that. I was like, all right, I want to try that. And at that time, that same exact time, uh, my uh, my father and his business partner opened up a pizzeria. So I started working there, where I work right now. And uh, the first check I got, I got myself some calligraphy supplies, which was, um, it was um, like around March of 2017. So I got, I got my tools and I was, I, with the inspiration from Uvalis, I started practicing with the parallel pen, like, um, because that's what he used. So I bought it. And I tried it out. He made it look easy. So when I tried it, I was like, wait, 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 wait. Why did it look so easy, but now is not easy? So I, I was like, oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I got I to gotta find out how to use it. So I started practicing and practicing. So the first, the first few months of me practicing, I literally got nowhere, bro, nowhere. I couldn't do it. I couldn't make a decent stroke. None of my letters looked even. Um, 
it didn't look the way I wanted, and it didn't look like Uvalis's work. That's what I wanted the most. I just wanted it to look like him. And so I practiced, I practiced, nothing was happening. Um, I was I was about to give up because that's usually what I do. So, but yeah, that's li literally what I used to do. So, before I had this account made by Edgar, I had like um, like five or six accounts that I just gave up on. I had a animation account, a music account, a prank account, another art account. Um, I think all of them were mostly art accounts, but except the prank account. And um, after like like two or three weeks or even a month where I didn't see no progress, like I just gave up. So I have a whole bunch of dead accounts that don't have nothing that probably only gained a couple hundred followers. And I don't know, I just felt like like a loser, bro, like a loser because I, I thought that it could happen in two weeks when in reality I'm in my second year. And I'm just starting to see progress. So, um, yeah, like after two, like after a few months, I was gonna give up. I'm like, man, I suck. I I'm no good. I can't be like them. I suck. And something happened where I was like, oh well, I suck. I I suck. That's it. So I'm just gonna keep doing it, keep doing it, and I don't even care. I already lost. So I kept doing it. I kept practicing. I kept practicing. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I'm growing, holy sh! I'm 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 getting better. So, um, I I I actually send you a DM. It was um I looked it up the other day. I just know that when I sent you a DM, I was like, yo, I'm a I'm a fan of your work. Hopefully one day you can repost my art. I just started. Keep posting dope shit, and. Ten months later, ten months later, you replied. I'm like, what the? Ten months later, and it's crazy that in the beginning I thought that you was gonna reply to me like in two weeks, when in reality you replied to me in ten months. So, well, the reason behind this is because many people when they start calligraphy, like they make accounts and they write me, and first of all, most of those messages they goes in other messages, you know. So what do you mean like a separate inbox? Yeah, on Instagram you have like in like inbox and then other messages like which you still can check but like you have to click there to see them like yeah, like allow or decline. Yeah, something like this. And usually I don't check them every day like I check them some every some some days like every few days. But the thing is yeah. many beginners like they start and they write me like yo check my work I just started or like follow me or repost and I don't usually answer to those people because, like, what can I answer? Like, like they're beginners and what can I do? I, I can't follow them. I can't repost stuff. Like, I don't know what people expect. And uh, I usually respond either when I see some progress or, like, just by, by accident, I just see what the person does, you know? Like, maybe I didn't saw your message really for 10 months. Like, my other inbox is full, like, I don't know. There are so many messages, like, not only people asking for this, but write my name or, like, some all kinds of random stuff. And, uh, yeah, but... And you, you, you know what? I actually, I actually prefer that you waited, well, that you saw my message 10 months. Because I think if you would have saw it, like, two weeks, and you would have said, like, yo, you suck, I probably would have quit. So it, I think it's good that you didn't reply to me. And here's the thing. I, I actually messaged a lot of calligraphers and all of them replied, but it wasn't in the time that I thought they replied like in the amount of time that you did 10, like 10 months, they replied and I was like, Oh snap. But if they would have replied to me, I think I would have got big headed. I would have thought I was the shit when in reality I wasn't. And then I was going to like, that was going to bring me down. So the fact that it took a long time for me to, uh, see myself progress and then see people like noticing me, I think that was better. I think people really do think like if you give them a shout out, it's going to magically make them better or magically make them grow, which isn't going to happen. 
you got to grow first. You got to grow like by yourself and then people are, get people to notice you. But everybody wants to be noticed before they actually put in the work. Uh, it's very good that you mention it because like I, I can tell you there's so, um, so many people expecting like, yo, give me a shout out or follow me. And, and then the magic happens. No, like when people were in such a beginning stage, if I do a shout out, it won't help neither them or neither me because Calligraphy Masters has some kind of content, like some uh, some level of quality, you know? And if I yeah, if yeah. I repost some totally beginner stuff, first people will say like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, this is not the usual content. So first, it will be like a minus for me. And second, they won't uh, follow this person, like, you know? There is nothing yet built up for people to look after and to be interested to follow uh i got a question for you bro like um how did you find about me did you go through my message and did you find my message then you found me or did you find me through like the explore or somebody shared it or how well that's a funny question because i don't really remember like uh but most probably you've been using the hashtags and I oh, yeah, I stumbled upon your work and there's the thing like even if there is a beginner work there is thing there are things that still give you some clues that okay here here there might be something more in the future you know like some some clues that this person is not just a beginner that will give up like I don't know how to explain it but usually I seen some people clues that Okay, I'm like, okay, there there might be something here and from time to time I'm checking, I'm following and stuff like this and and that's the thing with you, like your first post was like in Jan in June of two thousand and seventeen and few months late and few months later there was a huge progress from your like ve your very first posts. I mean it wasn't still like good very good calligraphy, but you could see the progress and that there was like uh, hard work and dedication to it. And you know what it was too, um, when I started, yeah, like I said, I didn't have no money because, you know, I couldn't keep a job. Um, when I I got into calligraphy because it, it was, it's affordable. Like, I don't know how it is in other countries, but like here in the U.S., a lot of things you can get them from, from uh, art stores. So it was it was cheap to get started. So that was one of the big reasons for me to actually get better because at the time that was the only thing I could afford. So um, like being able to uh, grow, like be consistent at something that was in my budget was, was, was really good. Um, where, where you at right now, how, how do you get the calligraphy things? Through Amazon or through art stores? Well... I'm right now in Bulgaria and I don't get any tools from here, like, I don't buy any tools here. First of all, they are, from the people I know that are looking for, it's not so easy to find. And yeah. uh, second, I got all my tools when I was living in Denmark. But even back when I was living there, all the tools I needed I was getting from Amazon. So my tools are either from Amazon or from companies that, that sell, send me stuff. Uh, yeah, that's, see, that's the thing. Um, a lot, I get a lot of messages saying that people can't get calligraphy things, which is, is crazy bro, because I get it so easily and uh, I feel bad when people be like, how do I get it? Uh, they don't ship here. Where, uh, how do I make my own? Why can't I uh, get inks? Like, what is the best things? I got inks, but they suck. I got pens, but they suck. So, you know, I'm... It's it's kind of crazy how I almost complained at the beginning, like, oh man, this is all I could afford, and there's people that can't even get calligraphy things. So it, it I like I like using like the tools to inspire people, even though I know some people may not even get a chance to try calligraphy tools because you know the situation with like expensive shipping, they can't even get the pens, the pens that they can get are low quality so they feel like they never gonna try but uh yeah i just want to inspire with the letters yeah but there's the thing i many people i think they don't i don't know what it is like they're lazy or what but they just want everything to be ready for them for example amazon 
Even if one uh, seller is not shipping to your country, there are very big chance that another seller on Amazon will ship. Like Amazon is shipping worldwide, you know? Yeah, no. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I see a lot of people making excuses. That's the thing. So they'll, yeah, they'll say that they, uh, the, the pens are too expensive to get them. But if they're too expensive and you really want to try, then you'll probably, you'll have to get a job or get two jobs to get what you want. But a lot of people don't really want it. Like they just like saying that they want to be, but they don't really want to be. Exactly, because you said like uh, for you, like they were very uh, budget friendly to get them. I remember when I started, I was living in Denmark and the standard in Denmark is very high, which means I, I could afford many things. But at the same time, I remember like I started with Tius one and I also start like the first tools in my mind were pilot parallels as well. So I fell in love with those tools, but it took me more than a year before I got my pilots. And my very first tools were some random bullshit markers, which are not even some special brand, like some markers from $1 uh, store, you know, like totally bullshit quality, but still there was like a chisel tip and it was working for me because like you have a chisel tip okay it's not as straight or perfect as the this two which i saw on the on youtube video but still it was something that i could work with of course i was doing shit, shit with it but it was a beginning you know that's another thing that's another thing because um people will look at a dollar pen and think that you can't make something good out of it when in reality the dollar pen is just as good as a $20 pen. You could make the exact same thing. It might look a little different because, you know, the ink may dry out quicker because it's a $1. But you could make something great out of that pen. If you really want it, you could make you could make an incredible piece of art with that. But, yeah, like a lot of people, they rather have a $20 pen and get the feeling that they are better when in reality that one dollar pen could do the exact same thing well i think what it is for people is like of course many people they see some tool and they think oh that's the tool that makes the difference but i think the difference is from the person like if you really fell in love with the art and if if you really want to make it of course at at some point in the beginning you'll be like oh this is the tool it will help me a lot but that's the thing, if you don't have the two, you won't give up. You search some alternatives, you know. You try with different pens. And that's with the calligraphy. You can do calligraphy even with a simple pencil. You get a, a simple pencil or you stick two together. And there are so many ways. You can use a regular ball, ball, ballpoint pen. You can use literally everything. Uh, for example, a flat brush. You can find flat brushes everywhere. Of course, it might not be the perfect quality for like for calligraphy but this is the stupidest example a flat brush if you want to do gothic letters get a flat brush it might not be the perfect one but this is something that you can find in every country so yeah. for me it's it's so uh, it's not so much about the tools that you really need to love it because many people uh i've noticed they they do it not because they have so much love for calligraphy but somehow they see somebody doing it it's so cool and he has so many followers and they just want to have this fame and numbers and they don't see the all the hard work behind and dedication that needs to be put in uh yeah you you said a lot of a lot of uh, good things because uh people will look at at the numbers and think that this is gonna magically change their life or they could quit their jobs or they could Live, make a living out of that but if you have like I have around like 60 something thousand followers but that didn't change my life I still have to get a job and people think that if you get that amount you could start a whole new life and live your life doing art which a lot of people are doing that they are and there's even people who have less followers that are making a living but the thing is your art and your followers isn't the only thing you need. You need to have, you need to know how to market yourself. That's, I guess that's more important than the actual numbers. Because if you don't know how to market yourself, 60,000 followers aren't going to help you.
Well, you have a point because, of course, the numbers, they, they, they count for some point or for something. They mean something. But at, at the other hand, it comes the moment where, yes, you need to know either how to market yourself or, for example, what, what you need to produce. For example, I can give you Seb Lester that he, he became like crazy famous in, in a matter of like few months because he was doing just logos, logos, popular logos. And, and now I can give you another example. James Lewis, he's doing like three day kind of lettering typography, but he always also is booming like crazy because he does this like logos. And this is something that attracts a lot of attention, you know. Many people can uh, relate to those products and when they see them, somebody doing them is like, oh, that's cool, you know, somebody can do it. And this gives him a lot of attention and people get interested. And of course, it helps a lot if you know how to market yourself. But there is this way that I'm mentioning right now, James Lewis, this is marketing, but not really. This is, I don't know, my English is not so perfect, but in a way it is marketing and in a way it's not really marketing it's it's just a way of presenting because yeah it's like he it's like he's letting his work speak for himself yeah and because this is already something that people know it's it's not that he creates uh, so original pieces not that i say of course i love his work i love the the products that he does like the way he does it it's amazing and i don't want to put him down but it's nothing so very special you know he actually he he does he does this thing where he makes it easy for everybody to understand because he uses he uses logos that people know so everybody feels like they know it and they look the way he does it it looks like it's easy and it makes other people want to try and make it inspires people which is what you need like to to be able to market yourself correctly you need to make it look like anybody like anybody can do it and which he does, he does perfectly, James Lewis. It's, it's good that we start talking about this because I'm going to give a few tips now. Like, this is one of the ways that if you have some, you, do, you don't need to be like the best skills of yourself. Like, if you have middle skills, like you are already doing some normal, proper work. There is one of the ways that you don't need to be very smart at marketing or, or whatever. Either you can do like, try to do the same logo, like redo the logo as it is. In, in calligraphy lettering or sign painting. This will help you a lot in gaining followers and getting clients. And the other thing that also will help you, it's again with logos. You take a logo and you do a representation of yourself. For example, you take the logo of Amazon, you don't make it the same, exactly the same, but you do it in a way that you feel like it. Like, I'm sure you've seen people doing this. People. I've seen a lot of people do it, and they they actually get a lot of followers. Well, yes. well, followers and likes, and and they grow because of that. They grow because of that. They grow, but I I also seen these people. But most of them, which I saw, it's like they do a number of them, like five or ten logos, and that's it. And James is an example that he takes a logo and he continues. I don't know, he's maybe done maybe more than twenty, thirty logos by now, and that's a very important thing if you want to use this way of growing and getting attention to yourself. Don't make just a few logos or representation of logos. Make a number like 30, 40, 50. Of course, it will take you months, maybe a year, but it, this doesn't matter. At the end of this, doesn't matter, I don't know, 50 or whatever, whatever you choose to make, it might take you a year, but after this year, everything will be so much different for you. So just just be smart, you know. Be smart, Try try new ways, and it will work. Of course, it also helps, like... I know most of the artists, they, they do what they can and this is art. But most of the successful people, which I know in, in our niche, those people, they don't do just art. They, they, are very, uh, they are very smart and they research uh, marketing, how to present themselves, how to even show their work, the angle. And they go in very, very, very detail about everything. So everything yeah. counts. Everything counts. Um, it's, it's funny you say that because when you just said, um, uh, you know, do like 30 of them, that way you got, you can have like a portfolio. Um, you know, I, I did a few of the logos. I used to do names and I did, uh, yeah, names and logos. I did a few of them. You know, one thing about me, I don't know what it is, but after like five or six, 
I just stopped because I don't want it to be like a um like a like a I don't want to be like a one trick pony if you know what that means. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I I don't want to. Uh, that's why when I do like uh, I did the Cadillac logo, I did the uh, I can't even remember the other logos I did. You did Hallmark. A uh, Hallmark and Kleenex. Those are the three three ones that I did. And then after that, I was like, wait, do I really want to keep doing this? Because if I do, I don't want to just be known for that. So every time I try something like uh, like uh, names, which I used to do a lot, I stop because I don't want to be known as that. I did the logos. I stopped because I don't want to be known as that. What do you, What are your thoughts about that? Well, my thoughts about this, my thoughts about this is you have to have a plan in your head. For example, like you said, you did three. For example, if you did have a plan to make 10 or 20, okay, it might take a few months. Some people might start thinking, okay, this is what he focuses. But after those months, they'll see that, okay, this was not what I was thinking. He's not focused on this. This was like apparently some project. And of course, it might take some months to deliver 10 or 20 logos, but it doesn't matter. Also, it doesn't matter what people think about you. Even for a year, if you keep changing, like, for example, Pokers, he's like a person who've changed so much for, like, he does something for a period of time. People start thinking, okay, this is what he focuses on. And then all of a sudden, he, tell, he does totally different thing. And this has been constantly done. So even if you do logos for a year and people start thinking this is what you do, it doesn't matter because once this year is over, you come with something different and start doing different things, you know? No, you're right, you're right. I, I didn't really think, I don't really think things through for some reason. I don't know, like, I'm not good at managing, like, my thoughts and my time because I get so many, like, ideas that I don't know how to properly um, manage them. So I need to, I, that's one thing I need to work on too getting organized because you know i i, I kind of lack in that but hopefully this year i i find like a, um like some steps to keep me organized because right now it's 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 a mess but you know i just started so i'm learning along the way uh a lot of people that i see in calligraphy masters they look like they've been doing it for a, a, a while i think i'm i might be maybe probably the 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 youngest learner or the youngest person in doing it in in the sense of time because i only i think i only been doing it for two years everybody else probably has more years or more more knowledge and more um yeah just more knowledge yeah you are right at some at some point and this is true but that's one of the things that really i liked in you because besides you i know maybe one or two another people who done such progress in such little time and this is also very important like it means a lot i know like you're you might not be still satisfied with yourself and your skills but many of the team members in calligraphy masters doesn't matter that they've done it for longer time almost nobody is ever satisfied with his work you know and this is also a very yeah, important yeah. factor for a successful person and a person who is developing himself uh, those people who are always wanting to be better, they're never satisfied with th themselves. There won't be a point at which they say, okay, I'm now very good at this. No, th th there is no such point. Oh, sorry, dude, just a sec. All right.